Okay, this video is hopefully short. I don't want the rants to be too long. First of all, this isn't exaggerated or hyperbole. I genuinely believe this. These are all my thoughts, okay? 5v5 uh, ruined the game. It completely killed the game, slaughtered the game. First reason, we lost a tank hero, meaning that the backline and your DPS are more vulnerable. Because of this, they had to buff them. For this reason, that means all the supports are now insanely overpowered to not die to flank heroes. So, what do they do? They nerf the flank heroes, they buff the support heroes. Cool. Now the flanking DPS no longer get to play the game. Okay, what is the next thing the supports are dying to? They're dying to dive heroes. Okay, we're going to nerf all the dive heroes so supports don't die anymore. Okay, so now all the dive heroes are nerfed and they, you can't play them anymore. Okay, so now you have overpowered supports in the backline getting to do whatever they want on their brain dead heroes who do a shitload of damage, tons of healing, just get to AFK at the back, do nothing, are brain dead, just get to vibe back there, and are now hard carrying games because they do more damage than DPS, they heal people, they're more survivable than tank heroes. I don't even get it. The tank hero, the tank roll is garbage as well. It just explodes. It dies so insanely quickly, which is hilarious because the healing numbers compared to Overwatch 1 are so much higher. You do have so much more healing in this game than you do in Overwatch 1, but yet things still die faster. Do you know why? It's because we're in 5v5 and you don't longer have an off tank and a main tank role. Now we have one tank hero who just explodes if the people shoot him. Meaning, heroes like Zen became even stronger. Heroes like Mercy became even stronger. You know, you know those things that everyone hated? Mercy Zen? You know Discord Orb that everyone complained about since its release? You know, ev you know Res and Damage Boost, that thing everyone complained about since its release? Yes sir, they are still overpowered in this game. Also, let me talk about Genji for a second. That hero is still the worst hero in the game, and Blizzard thinks that's fine, fair enough, whatever. But uh, let me talk about his bugs for a second. He has different variations of dash bug that I want to talk about. They've been in the game since Overwatch 1 beta. Seven years ago. They've been in the game for seven years. They're still not patched. Bash, a dash bug, number one. You dash, but you don't move. You stay in place. You, that, that is it. That has been in the game for seven years. And it's still in the game. I couldn't tell you why. But it is. The next dash bug is where you dash and your camera gets locked to your ending dash position so you can dash flick your camera onto someone and then your camera will snap back to where your ending dash position was meaning you have to re-flick over there again and it's incredibly annoying and disorienting and it sucks but don't worry guys it's been in the game seven years they'll patch it eventually hopefully i don't know i don't know how that bug goes i don't know how these bugs go unchecked for seven years and they're still in the game especially on this hero next is the wall climb bug where sometimes you wall climb and you it will just eject you off the wall you can climb the wall and it just doesn't let you climb you can hold space bar next to it you'll climb half a meter and you'll just jump off of it for no reason i could not tell you why it does this but it does uh and it happens all the time but it still does happen next is the deflect bug where you deflect and people shoot your deflect and you still die which is I don't, I don't even know how you manage to fuck that up, but apparently you can. Uh, the amount of times I've been holding deflect while a soldier has been shooting me, and then I've just died, is absurd. Uh, but uh, replace soldier with literally every hero in the game that Genji can deflect. But just, you, you know, but don't worry about it, guys. It's only been in the game for seven entire years. It's, it's fine, guys. It's only been in the game seven years. Surely they will patch it. Surely. Okay, this has, that had nothing to do with 5v5, but it annoyed me. Anyway, back to why 5v5 killed the game. Like I said before, the, what happens in 5v5 is that everyone but the tank becomes more vulnerable. Right? Actually, even the tank becomes more vulnerable because he doesn't have his off tank anymore. Everyone becomes more vulnerable. For that, they have to buff the support role. Right? Because otherwise, DPS heroes would just run free and kill everything. Fair enough. I'm okay with some small support buffs. But instead, what they do is they turbo buff the role into being an overpowered mess. And now, it's the only role that has any carry potential or any hard value in the game whatsoever. Unless you're picking a hitscan hero. Like Widow or Ash or Soldier. Or generally just heroes that stand in the backline. The reason for this is because supports were so vulnerable to Genji, Monkey, Diva, things like that. They were all nerfed to keep the support role, you know, not just getting completely owned. 
Meaning, all of the heroes who were dive heroes, flank heroes, things like that, are all gutted and killed and they can't you they're just garbage now. But it was supposed to be an overall nerf to DPS and tank to keep support alive. But that's not what we got. We got a hard nerf to everything apart from sniper heroes and hitscan heroes. They're the only people unaffected by the change because those heroes stand in the back of the map. So all of the heroes that require dive or some kind of initiation or some close range are gutted and kind of suck. But all of the heroes who don't, like the hitscan heroes, were untouched. Meaning we now live in a world where all of the support heroes are ridiculously overpowered to compensate for the fact they're dog shit at the game. And then all of the hitscan players get to go even harder than they were before in Overwatch 1, where in Overwatch 1 they were already overpowered, but now they're even more so in Overwatch 2 because we're missing a tank hero and all of the actual heroes that were good at diving them were nerfed because of the support heroes being too vulnerable. Meaning, hitscan heroes were simultaneously buffed alongside support heroes because they take the same positioning roles Meaning that since they stand in the same place, all of the heroes that are good at engaging on those positions are nerfed. Meaning all of those heroes are buffed. Making them even stronger. Blizzard is unbelievably bad at balancing games. I'm pretty sure everyone knows that. But I think the change to 5v5 will go down in history as the worst change ever done by any gaming studio ever. It's worse than skill-based matchmaking in Call of Duty. It's worse than skill-based matchmaking in Apex. It's worse than microtransactions. It's worse than all of it. 5v5 was the most unbelievably dog shit decision I have ever seen in the gaming sphere. It is awful. It, it, I don't even get how people thought this was going to be a good idea. Because we now live in this world where support players need to be babied. They need to be babied, right? Because if they are not, no one will pick the role, okay? So if no one picks the role, that means the queue times extend, and they don't want that. They want people playing the game longer. So they make the support heroes overpowered, therefore making the, the hitscan heroes also overpowered, making the projectile heroes awful and the tank heroes awful. So now, if we want to balance the game, we have to either nerf all of the supports and the hitscan heroes and the sniper heroes, or we buff all the projectile heroes and all the tank heroes. But if we do that, we bring back the support vulnerability, where now they're easier to dive and they become main targets again, meaning no one will play support anymore. So now we're in a dilemma where no one wants to play any of the roles because they're all dog shit against support. But if, there, if that is, is not the case, then no one would pick support and no one would play the game. This is... 5v5, when you actually think about it and you break it down, is such a fucking unbelievably shit change. It is hard to fathom. Did anyone actually think about this before they just decided that it would happen? Because this is garbage. This is not fun to play. Unless you are an Ash player a Widow player, uh, a Soldier player, a Tracer player, a Hanzo player, or like a, or a support player, something like that, you are having an awful time. You are having a terrible time. And uh, that is almost guaranteed. I want you to comment. I want you to comment. If you are a projectile player who plays competitive regularly, uh, no, no, no. If you are a, co a player who plays competitive regularly, who doesn't regularly choose hit scan or support, are you enjoying 5v5 or are you disliking it? And then I want everyone who does play hit scan regularly and who plays support regularly to tell me if they are enjoying 5v5. I almost guarantee all of the players who play hit scan and support love 5v5, but all of the projectile and tank players and stuff like that despise it because it is shit for them. Anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about. There's probably a bunch of stuff I left out because I got actually really annoyed. But that's all I wanted to talk about. That is actual proof 5v5 is, is trash for the game. Uh, but it's okay because it's Blizzard and they're really, really good at fucking up everything. Um, I love you. Good Goodbye. Mwah.